from Georgia, USA, the Philly River from Spain, but it's mostly Italian war. Uh, and for the two books, it's going to cost around $3 million in the 20s. I'm not an economist for nothing, but in my opinion, I would say that today that should be way more than $30 million today. Yeah. You hear different numbers. Some people say 100 million, some people say 10. Nobody knows. But I'm sure that I'm pretty sure it's more than 30, right? If not only the inflation of the money for 100 years, it's also the marble that it's hard to get and pricey. That's a lot of marble for us, you know, in Puerto Rico. Wow, that's a marble building. If you go to Italy or Greece, mm. you have that's nothing. Normal, you know, yeah. You have nothing but, but for us, it's a lot. Yeah. Now, the building is divided into the house and the Senate. The governor doesn't really work there. The governor works from the governor's house. You don't see it from here, but it's this same street, like eight blocks away. It's the governor's house uh, at the end of the street. Now, this is the front, the back side of the building. Later, we're going to be driving through the front. We're, we're not going to get out, but we're going to pass through the front, but this is the back side. Now, guys, if you want, turn around so you can see this. Uh, but I want you to... to for you to be able to see the info, all right? Mm. It's in English and in Spanish, but let's mm. focus on this part. This statue was done in memory of Puerto Rican soldiers that died in the World War, they mean World War One. Notice the date on the bottom when it was put here or built. Now, notice something else. The way the name Puerto Rico is written, you know that we don't write it like that. Yeah. It's Puerto Rico. Here it says Puerto Rico, or in English, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. All right, that's misspelled, but it's no mistake. It's no accident. The thing is that that's the way Puerto Rico started to be written legally when we became USA. This was 1898. So we were Spain for 400 years, and before the Spanish, they, they were Native American. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into that later, right? But eventually the Spanish get into war with the US. The Spanish American War. The US wins, and they take over Philippines, Guam, Cuba, and Puerto Rico. I don't know about those other islands and countries, but in our case, a few things started to change because it, it, it came from Spanish to US, so things changed. The name changed to that, that lasted for years. President Hoover is the one that in 1931 changed the law and brought back the original way to see it already. Oh, okay. How do you see it today? Yeah. So he changed it back. Not only that changed, the language as the main language changed to English. That didn't last too long because teachers were against it because they didn't speak English, most of them. Yeah. So they brought Spanish back. The Puerto Rican flag that you see up there, that I'm sure you've seen it for years and years. Okay, that flag became illegal. You couldn't have the flag. The only flag allowed was the USA flag. That lasted around 52 years. Then they brought it back. It was not like that. It was uh, The blue was a bit lighter. The original flag before they put it illegal was a sky blue. Then they brought it a darker blue like the US and then they brought it down a little bit to that one. So it's been changing a little bit. It's the same flag for the different flag. Then it just means the name, the flag, the language, among other things. We're done to Americanize the island. You know, some left it longer than others, like the name they left there around 33 years. Now in Puerto Rico, everybody who's alive or born here. Since 1917, sorry for the noise. Since 1917, it's automatically a U.S. citizen. All right, that's almost 20 years after we became U.S. territory. Yeah. The main reason, even though it might sound bad, but the main reason was for the war, World War One. People here, a month before the U.S. joined the World War One, that was 1917. World War One started a bit earlier, but the U.S. actually joined a bit later. One month before joining, Puerto Rican gained the U.S. citizenship. The reason was to be drafted. Many people volunteered also, but most of the people were drafted, like in the States. So uh, people here have been drafted to World War One, World War Two, Korea, Vietnam. What's the last one? People were drafted in Vietnam. But today, when you turn 18, you're automatically en enlisted. If they, in case they do a drafting today, they can have people come here. Some people might feel here that it's unfair that we cannot vote for the president because you could be drafted from here, but you cannot vote from here. But it is what it is, you yeah. know. It's what we know. Everybody who's alive right now is we're, 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 born, we're born under that. But yeah. it's what we know. All right. Now, other than that, there's a few statues out here, out there in this line. There's like nine or ten. This are the statues of some of the U.S. president that visited the island when they were in power. So Teddy Roosevelt was the first one, but after him there's Frank Franklin Roosevelt, there's Eisenhower, Johnson, Ford, there's Kennedy, Obama at the end, and a few others. 
Uh, in my opinion, the only one that looked like himself for me is Kenneth. <laughs> All the other, or most of the others, <laughs> need to read the name behind. <laughs> to know it is. Kennedy, yeah, the only one. Yeah, yeah. Obama's at the Obama. end, but he doesn't look like Obama. Okay? <laughs> there were some people that have more Obama Puerto Rican cousins. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't, he's too tall and won't fall. So yeah. not, they don't really look like them. So many okay. people ask me about Trump because Trump visited after a hurricane that we had in Yes, yes. It was offensive that many people here felt offended, you know. Yeah. That's not the reason the statue's not there. The reason the statue's not there is because we're bankrupt. There's no money for that. Oh. If you, when I give you some time to walk in a minute, not, not yet. If you go to Obama statue, notice the date because it tells you the date that they started being the president or the year mm -hmm. and the ending year. Yeah. yeah. Obama doesn't have an ending year because they haven't touched this since he was still in power. Oh. Right? Okay. The thing is that in Puerto Rico is in bankrupt. After the hurricane, things got worse. Oh, okay. They, they're shutting down schools because they wanna they don't there's no money there's no money to fix them. Yeah. yeah. You know, and if they start doing statues of people, people are gonna yeah. that's offen offensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's because not important. Statues, of course. They say that the company charges them fifty thousand dollars. This is a guess. That's not, I don't know the real number. But it, it it's that expensive. It's that expensive. Yeah. Many middlemen getting money under the table. Yeah. You know, so that part around. So people here, there's a, there's a statue of a rooster down there if you want to walk to it. I don't recommend it, but there's a statue of a rooster. People did a big mess for that. Because it happened after the hurricane when it's a crisis and there's no money and you put a statue of a rooster. That kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's your guys, um, when President Trump visited, I was talking about the paper towel, people can offend them. Yeah. Ruth Johnson. Johnson. Johnson is tall. Okay. And then here is Jared Ford. Oh, he's just as tall. And my cousin Barack. Barack. Barack Obama. He's tall too. All right. Harry, Harry Truman. He was in a store. He was in a wheelchair. He was mm -hmm. Roosevelt. Oh yeah, he was in a to make money the Jewish thing. let six million candles glow against the darkest darkness of this I unfinished life Monumento and us. Oh, now it's written in Spanish. Rafael Gold Rodero Molino. Wow. This tree must be very, very old.
the government it says it says government of the people the people for the people shall not perish from the earth abraham lincoln okay that's it folks okay we'll see you guys later